Interesting. Had you gone the other way, you would have met someone who would have become one of your closest, lifelong friends. Of course, that friend would have occupied a great deal of your time and kept you from meeting another great friend. But that's the nature of this game of life though, isn't it? Of course, changing decisions are at almost every bend and turn. That's not realistic. I mean, if they had just taken five minutes to take a step back before making that call, this could have taken a completely different turn. And every decision leads to a fork, the other branch of which you can never know. Possible splits with endless permutations. Nitro cold brew. In fact, there are infinitely more unknown sides of your life than the side of it you do know. Alexa, turn off the light. If I take these two classes, I can still get into med school next semester. Could you have chosen a career more suited for your skills and interests? Could you have spent your time working towards something more fulfilling? Of course you could have. Why should that make your chosen path any less meaningful? Here's your offer letter. Tell me what you think. Thank you. I've wanted to work here a very long time. But decline. I appreciate your time, but after thinking it over, I just don't think I'd be a good fit. Thank you for the opportunity. There are millions more people you could have met than the ones who actually become important to you.
Does knowing that you could have just as easily been with completely different people make the ones you love any less important? I guess what I'm saying is, I love you, and I wish I could stay with you forever. I love you too. Let's do it. Let's just be with each other forever. Will you marry me? Yes. Yes, yes, of course! I love it here too. It reminds me of my grandma's house. thousands of places you could have lived. Does that make the ones you call home any less of a refuge? I think this is the one. Yeah? This checks all your boxes? Yeah. I could see us building a family here. <laughs> yeah, and Dolly loves looking out the windows. She would sit there all day and watch the squirrels. Astonishingly simple choices could have meant living in completely different places. Does that make the homes you built any less sentimental? I'm not sure. We said we wanted a fence and there's just no place to do that here. Where's the next one? No. There is regret in every path, but that does not make the path you choose any less valid. Aim for the path of least regret and find the joy in the path you're on. I don't think it makes a lot of sense to keep doing something just because we've been doing it for a long time. You know, something that isn't working obviously needs to be changed. This case is going to make or break us for the gold this year, and we have to leave this room with a decision. Are you here? While you captain your own ship, Come as on. difficult as that may become, your ghost steers another. Of course, I'll get uh, I'll get next week's ads taken care of today, and I'll get back with you tomorrow when you talk about quarter two. Perfect. I'm sorry. I have to take care of something. He is not your enemy. He is a part of you. You're right, though. Sometimes things do have to change. Sometimes a wiser, happier part. Should you ignore your ghost? Should you pretend he isn't there? Or could you learn from each other? Wave hello. Both of your ships carry beauty. Both carry loss. Regret exists because every path wants to be known. Every possible life wants to show itself to you, to say, look at me, I am the path to happiness. Every child you do not have and every sketch you do not draw screams out, I will give you purpose, bring me to life. You will never see every branch of your life's tree. You will never know what happens down the fork of the river you did not take. Should that diminish the beauty of the path you choose? Alexa, turn off the light. Happiness is up to you. There is sadness on every path, but there is also joy. We don't know. Be grateful for this life, but know it is okay to miss the alternatives.
The life you live is full of passion, sorrow, joy, excitement, pain, pleasure, grief, love, and so many other emotions to remind you that you are alive. And so are the alternatives. And the peaceful calm before a decision is born. Take comfort in knowing that if you step left, another version of yourself steps right. If you take the job, another version turns it down. If you buy the house, another passes it up. If you make the move, another does not. I love you, Dad. Every version inspires both blissful moments of euphoria and heartbreaking regrets. Every version wishes to be real. Both joy and sorrow shine bright as the prism of time splits us off into our infinite possibilities. Though, we do not actually know it. We cannot shake the hands of our alternate selves and ask them how they feel. We cannot advise them on the best decisions in our lives or warn them of our mistakes. We cannot sit down and question them about their greatest loves or their deepest regrets. Every decision has a sister vessel which plies an entirely different route. We can never see it. We can never talk to it. But we can sense it. Can you?